Beloved by armchair explorers the world over, they've been popular since before Christopher Columbus stumbled across the Americas. But rather than help navigate the seven seas, globes were mainly used to show off one's newly conquered territories. Today, London-based Bellaby & Co are reviving the last art of globe making, and their custom designs have gone, well, global. I think the most random place we've shipped to is an island off um, Tahiti. Um, but every single globe is completely bespoke. We not only make very traditional globes, we make very, very contemporary ones. Peter founded the firm after struggling to find the perfect present for his dad. I came up with this idea to buy my dad a globe for his birthday. Um, and I went looking and couldn't find any that I remotely liked. And so I, for some reason, came up with the idea of making one. Um, what I thought was going to be a three-month project turned into a two-year project. Peter built the firm from scratch and now employs 25 artists, cartographers and woodworkers who, you've guessed it, come from all corners of the world. We have Portuguese, we have Spanish. You're, yeah, yeah, no, you're Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish. Portuguese. Portuguese, you're Portuguese. So we have multiple Portuguese and we have Ukrainian, we have um, Italian, we have Greek and about five or six English. So we make globes to go all around the world by people from all around the world. 